Yo, what's up? Welcome to the video. And we are going to take a look at Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga gameplay overview trailer. Because, like, we have a new release date for it. Finally, after two years, it's been delayed, I guess, two times right now. April 5th is the new release date for Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, and I'm I'm really excited, though. Last game I played from Star, uh, Star Wars, um, well, Star Wars was Jedi Fallen Order, but last game I played from Lego was Harry Potter Years 1 through 7, both of them. Um, really fun games. This looks really different, though. Well, not different, but, like, it's it, it looks really good. Let's just keep it at that. Um, so let's take a look at the trailer. Let's chill out with it, see what we see. And um, just get excited for it, right? Let's go. A nice. Dreamer becomes a Jedi Knight. A Je already, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably pause it a lot though. Um, already, like really fun, the twin sons Tatooine look, and then again look, but this is really, uh, oh. I gotta skip a little less. Um, really nice is we get like um, uh, life meters and damage numbers uh, right here above enemies. I don't I, like. I hope you can uh, turn off the damage numbers, but like the life bar itself is pretty chill though. Fighting, fighting the royal gods over here looks pretty cool. A Jedi is twisted by the dark side. Darth Vader. And as the Force awakens, a hero Ray, BB rises up to save the galaxy. Relive the epic story of all nine films in the This is really cool though. This um I think this is the title screen. Yeah. The Skywalker saga. Look at all the characters though. There, I think there I think he says it also, but there's over I think three hundred characters in the game. But this is already an insane amount with a good cast of characters. Really fun, looks really good. Um like with Kylo, Moss, we got uh, Maul, Boba. Just to go through a bit, we got Niwok, General Grievous. Got Poe, Rose, Phasma, Luke, of course, Mace Windu, hell yes. And then Solo from Solo, I guess. And Solo from Solo instead of uh, the Star Wars itself, like um, instead of Harrison Ford. Nice. Looks really cool. Really good. Really good. Your adventures start. I like this one as well. Trilogy of your choice. Start with Poe Dameron fighting off the First Order in Episode Seven. Jump so, what I already really like about this is like the the little animations on this screen are really cool, and um, you can just play through them, uh, which is really really fun. I'm picking the trilogy. This one over here, <laughs> like really cool. And then the Ewok on the speeder over there. And then, um, Start with this is one thing that I really like about this already is it's more over the shoulder, more closed. Instead of like Lego, Harry Potter was uh, more zoomed out, more, um, you see more of the map and you just walk around instead of being more over the shoulder zoomed in, which is like a really, really fun change uh, to have with, uh, with the Lego game. And I really like it so far. Dameron fighting off the First Order in Episode 7. Jump into Episode 1 as Qui-Gon and his Ooh, young Padawan yeah. escape a failed negotiation. Qui-Gon, Or start where it all began. As Leia sends R2-D2 and C-3PO on a mission that will change... The, the famous scene. The them escaping to Whatever Tatooine. Whatever era you choose, play through the entire saga and experience... That shot right there. Like, it looks like the, 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 flying, or the flying of the ships... Let's see if I can just... It Whatever skips, like, way back. But looks so real, like, freaking smooth, man. Only Lego games can offer. But he walks. <laughs> As war spreads across the galaxy, Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga lets you experience the many thrills of your favorite battles. New combat mechanics allow for greater mastery as you play. Like that right there, though. Like um, the way he just like fights and how smooth it looks. It's really, really fun. Really good. New combat mechanics allow. What do we see, though? Uh, just a point of interest over there. Nothing much. Like so smooth from like a lightsaber into force using. Really cool. For greater mastery as you plunge. NPCs as well. It's a lot of NPCs though. 
This is a little less, but in other scenes you can see it as well. There's a lot of NPCs walking around really good. Into the action and defeat enemies both big. Oh, the Rencar. And small. Maze on Geonosians whooping their asses. String attacks together to form impressive combo chains that deal significant damage to enemies. Nice. It just looks and really smooth. Oncoming attacks using nice. This is on Tatooine with a with a Sarlacc pit. <laughs> got a nice barbecue going on over here. Got to you got to eat. You got to eat. And then uh, Luke just whooping asses. Looks really good. Counter maneuvers designed to defeat foes in styles tailored to your favorite. So look at this. This looks really, really fun though. It's more of an open world as well, which is really cool. And then you get like a Tuscan Raider over here, uh, Mon Calamari. Nice NPCs going around. It's characters. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it. New blaster controls and mechanics. Is that like something you can break through over there? Probably, right? Must be. Something glows like that, looks like that, it's it you can break through it most definitely. Rich characters. New blaster controls and mechanics. We got Pat May. In the middle of fierce battle. I kinda I don't know what I like how I feel about it. I think it's 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 there. It's fun probably. It's um it's like it's all the numbers. I wish you can like take the damage numbers off. I don't really mind this though, but it's just like uh, um, what probably damage multiplier and shit, right? And let you aim with skillful precision. I like the and gameplay, man. Too intense. Take cover and this is well, like a cover system. Really cool. When really well done. Right, take your shot and watch as enemies react to aimed hits. It seems like you can also shoot this thing over here, and have something happen to them. Maybe not even take them out all, but just like give them more damage in, in one go. Looks like, like, it. yeah. Because after Probably. all, there's nothing like having a good blaster at your side. <laughs> choose to use a weapon. I, I I really like this though. It's really stupid, but like the Lego branding on the arms and everything. And from a more civilized. Really fun. The photos in the back, like Obi Wan and Luke, and then. Age. Over here, Luke uh, dancing with the clones. Do you wield a lightsaber against the saga's most sinister villains? Fight like a Jedi Knight. Really cool. Obi Wan and Grievous oh, going at it. Still mastering the ways. <laughs> <laughs> and that's uh, Harrison Ford as Han Solo. Then nice, cool. But a lightsaber isn't the only. Hey, Jango. Remember the four. Yeah, looking Yoda, pretty cool on Dagobah with R2 behind him. Another like uh, wildlife going around. Force is everywhere. Harness its power to lift objects, attack enemies, or influence others. <laughs> like a bantha. Let's go. Players can also take their adventures to new and the Millennium Falcon. Let's go. Exegol. I like one of the the Kyber bricks you can uh, you can collect. Pretty cool. Nice. Planets as you journey your Let's look at what I said though. Like uh the the like the skill and, and, and like the NPC that's in the back and everything, it's really it's really fun, really cool. As you journey your way through the saga. Nice. Just open the hollow projector. And this one is really cool as well. Wait, this is, does it say something else though? New territories. Nice. Fifty two percent like not done but probably uh probably like uh found and stuff so not there yet but uh <laughs> you need to get it 100 percent, man um Projected. we can see like a lot of planets in this game so i don't know if that's if you can do that from every everywhere but i think it's m like more logical when you do it when you're near your ship like that the, the x-wing over here um just go into your galaxy map and then um pick a planet go to any planet you want and there's a lot of plans, though. Exegol, Octu, Endor, Hoth, Bespin, Kashyyyk, Yavin, Kamino, Geonosis, Naboo, Crate. So a lot of planets to choose from to go to. And you get the galaxy map, probably like customizations, your customization for your ship probably. Uh, seems like upgrades, uh, objectives, uh, help, of course. 
I don't know what this is though. Objectives, maybe missions, I guess. I don't know. And then, every like every collectible already eighteen. Uh, Kyber bricks, nice. And then like even even coordinates though, pretty cool. To access the galaxy map and chart your course. And you see him just go from one planet to another. Comes with its own set of this looks encounters. really, really cool though. We can see it's Poe Dameron and his, with his jacket outfit. <laughs> it's his jacket outfit. Um, and then you can go to like two districts on Coruscant, the Yuskru district and the federal district. And then on the left and the right, there are arrows. I don't know. Maybe you can just not go to one of the districts and just. Fly, fly out in space around the planet a little bit, see what's, like, what's to do over there. There's a red exclamation, um, a question mark, and a brick. Maybe another collectible. Maybe some enemies over here, like uh, uh, TIE fighters or something. And then probably something to do with your weapons. I don't see it because it's behind the bar. Be prepared to probably not. Yeah. Or life, and then things and then the red the red the red um question mark we just saw could be like leading up to like something like this right dogfights against enemy ships also this looks really really smooth um hmm so this is like a mission you go to like probably like a, like, a, uh, like one of the ships and then Maybe you can, like, f you're a fin right here, and then maybe if you go f towards this one, you can get, like, a customization upgrade for your characters. It's, like, uh, maybe objectives, a mini game or something. I don't know what these other two are. New mission unlocked Tatooine can can Tonica space. Nice. More info. This is... This is on PlayStation? Probably, I'm not sure. Looks like the button in the center of the PlayStation controller for. Uh, do the new ones have that as well? Fuck, I've never like I've never hold a PlayStation Five controller. <laughs> Incredible missions as you pilot legendary vehicles. Oh yeah, this looks cool, man. Already make your descent. Incredible missions. Also, like the the flying, the running vehicles. around, it looks so smooth. Ready, make your descent. Really, really cool. <laughs> of course, some Lego humor. Gotta be in there, right? <laughs> Every episode in the look how smooth this looks. And then this. This is what I was talking about. Because I've already seen the trailer. Because, well, yeah, of course. But, um, like, the skill is just, like, insane for a LEGO game. Look how many NPCs there are. Like, the, the skill of this battle. The destruction going on. And they're just sick sagging because they don't want to get hit. But... <laughs> It's really, really good. It's really, really looks really, really good. Fun and exciting levels, many with multiple nice. routes to progress through. So multiple routes to progress through, which is really cool. I really like that. Um, you can build like a water cannon to um, to take out the fire, but you can also probably go to the left and try and blast through the door if you have like a different character you're playing with. Or you can probably go over here to the right with the exclamation exclamation point, and that may be even another way to get to the object objective where you're going. Right? Looks really cool. To progress through, so you can charge in boldly, or find a more stealthy approach. I like that though. As you arrive at new destinations, you can choose to either continue oh onwards through the main story. So. From like the the menu we just looked at, it looks a little bit like this one, but with the last bit taken away. Um, so it, it might be like main missions instead of like objectives. You can just pick up and side missions and everything. That may be like the main storyline you pro uh, progress through. Story, or take a detour to explore iconic and expansive planets. Looks really cool though. Look how f like how 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 awesome this looks though. It's so like it's still Lego, so I'm not expecting really really like Jedi Fallen Order graphics, but it looks really awesome this. And it's like it's more open world, so you can just like roam around. I don't know how much, probably like a a decent amount, 
but you can like still roam around a lot. And see planets from the Skywalker saga. And by a lot, I mean different planets. So then we get Coruscant. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty well done, though. From the forest moon of Endor. Got some Ewoks. <laughs> R2 and C3. To the desert dunes of Tatooine. Get close. Like that. That just looks, that looks so awesome, though. And then, I, I can't say this enough, though, but look how smooth it looks. Of Tatooine, get closer to the action and behold the most visually breath. <laughs> visually breathtaking. Looks really cool. Lego game yet. Go off the beaten path and take on side missions. So get, like, droid, uh, like, icons over here with, like, power and then... A side mission over there. Everything from bullseye and womp rats, facing off against scum and villainy, <laughs> or pondering the great mysteries of the saga. Hmm. Tell me, who shot first? Han! Han! Yeah, who shot first? <laughs> the more you explore the galaxy, the greater nice. the rewards. Uncover kyber bricks to unlock new features, including upgraded abilities. So this is the uh, upgrade system over here that we that like that we saw in the beginning, just like the icon off though. But we have the Jedi. Uh, you got like core upgrades first of all, and then classes: Jedi, Hero, Scavenger, Scoundrel, Bounty Hunter, Villain, Dark Side, uh, Astromech, Droid, and Protocol Droids. Pretty cool though. The hero right here. Don't know what it does yet, but um, there's a lot of things to upgrade. It says it's a hundred percent though. Abilities across a range of oh wait he went from hero to scavenger we were on scavenger hero is already 100 percent 91 percent i wonder how long this will take to fully upgrade every class that you like that you see over here i don't know how far this is into the game but um um really fun to do if unique character classes whether so because you probably upgraded uh, Ray, you can choose between the Breaker Blaster, a Glider, and a Net Launcer. Using a Scavenger's Net Launcher to climb with swift agility. Sensing opportunities for impressive shots as a scoundrel. And then Han. Unleashing shock grenades as a bounty Oba. hunter. Or putting your better half to work as a protocol droid. <laughs> nice. Each upgrade makes... Wait, he went back... Back and forth a little bit. We get power push, force push, a tap. This button <laughs> will knock back more enemies and objects uh, over a wider range. Large increase to range. Nice. And then force cross at the seat. A seat. The seat. Uh, repeatedly damage enemies. Grab with the force. Nice. Unlock dark rise to allow grabbing of non droid enemies. Uh, current level deal a large amount of damage to force grabbed enemies. Makes nice, cool. You can see the upgrade. Force level enemies, blah blah blah. Fifty one to spend. Costs fifty thousand. Well, that was the previous one as well, like the it dark rise. Yeah, okay. more powerful and ready to take on any challenge. And with over. It's a lot of characters though. Like the the the, the begin the title screen already has like a lot of characters, but you can also see over here. Um, I think we even missed like a couple. You can see a lot, a lot. Bad Anakin. <laughs> BB-8, um, Organa, Boba. And with Let's over see. We got Boss Nuss, Bosk. Captain Taivo, uh, Clone Trooper, Chewie. Lock. BD, Maul, Darth Vader. So there's a lot, a lot. Kanduku, a lot of characters though. Captain Phasma. You play as legends from every corner of the song. Really, really fun. And live out your greatest Star Wars fantasies. Gunk Droid. I really like Plo Koon over there though. Star Wars fantasies. Get Fisto and Plo Koon. Lego Star Wars: The Skywalker Saga. Let him Falcon you again. Your favorite moments from all nine films, and experience fun and new adventures <laughs> like never before. On April fifth. April fifth. That looks so amazing. <laughs> Look at all the ships flying around. 
it's an actually populated world, which is really cool. The galaxy is, is yours. yours. Just your feeling. I hope the fighting is going to feel really, really well done. Um, I always liked it, though. I played a little bit of Rogue Squadron, and before that I just played, like, uh, I used to play, like, a lot of... Um, um, like flying games, and I hope this is really well done as well. Just spend a lot of time flying around the galaxy. Nice! That looks really good. That looks really good. And then we get like the, uh, like the extras though, which is really cool. I thought it was help, but it's, it's more stuff to spice up the game, like touch time 6 to 10, Super uh, Gung Droid Pork Companions. We saw that as well, though. Forgot to point it out with um, uh, Jabba the Hutt with a companion. Um, baguette lightsabers, because who doesn't want to fight with a baguette as a lightsaber? A Galaxy Rave. Um, television mode, hologram mode. Give playable characters a hologram look. Add a retro style a screen uh, effect to the game. Noise. Uh, replace all civilians with gunk droids <laughs> nice and then we got mumble mode which is i think was requested so noise comedy weapons rainbow effects and cantina music that's you need that you need cantina music though then we get like more over here um so i'm kind of wondering what everything is curious what i need that i need that i <laughs> nice april 5th <sighs> yes can't wait though for the switch to playstation the playstation 5 and 4 and the xboxes um and pc as well of course can't wait for this game i think it's going to be a really fun fun game uh, to play through, I think it's going to be a long game to play through as well, a really big one, especially with the um, like free roaming around instead of just going with um, like main like mission to mission linear style game. Um, I, I I really like the where they're going. Uh, also with the um, more over the top like over the shoulder um, feel of the game, I really like the way they're going with this game. So yeah, can't wait for it. So. That's kind of like the the first, well, the new look at Star Wars, like uh, the Skywalker saga. I always want to say the name, and then Lego, and then the sub. Like fucking hell, I shouldn't do that though. It's Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker saga. <laughs> Let me know what you think about this game. Uh, are you gonna pick it up? Uh, if so, enjoy it. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next video. Bye bye.